What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Today I'm going to be teaching you rapid crossovers. Now this is a tutorial that I've done countless times on my channel, but I'm always looking to improve and add value. So today I've got a couple of new tips that you need to check out. So if you don't know what move I'm talking about, check this out in three, two, one. Peace. Right, there you have it guys. As I know you agree, that is an ultimate slick move. Something that everyone basically tries to get to as soon as they pick up their rope, right? Crossovers is really like, I guess, probably the second move that everyone tries to pick up, right? Today I'm gonna be showing you three quick drills on how to get this done right. Now, first thing is this, right? It's gonna sound a bit weird, but I want you to try, do it without your shoes on. You're probably gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about, Rush? Like, you're gonna, gonna get me slapped, but this is it, right? This is the reason why I think I've kind of nailed getting the accuracy right is because when you get slapped by a rope guys, especially on your feet, it's not nice obviously, hurts, but it'll actually improve your accuracy. Now, if you've got foot problems, uh, heel issues, don't do this, please. But if you're kind of uh, okay, health's in good, good shape, I want you to start practicing this move. Literally, with your, with your shoes off, it's gonna give you a lot more accuracy, a lot more speed. And when you do whip yourself, again, it'll kind of help you make sure you don't do it again and just make sure you can actually learn from why you're tripping. This is an intermediate move, right, Pete? Because I already expect you guys to be able to do a basic cross. Today, I'm trying to teach you how to get it done like super fast, right? So take your shoes off. It's gonna get you feeling a little bit more lighter. Trainers sometimes do impact the way you kind of trip. In my instance, I'm using vans these days, but sometimes the heel of the vans, the front of the vans, um, it can catch the rope because you're trying to get really accurate with these speed crosses. We don't want to be making sure we're compensating with big jumps because you're not going to be quick. It's going to look awkward and it's not going to look slick. We want you getting these done sharp. So take the shoes off, increase the speed, start to then feel light on your feet. That's really helped me with my speed, all right? The second point, guys, is your rope length. Talk about this countless times, all the time. Start to tinker with your rope length. A lot of people go wrong simply because the rope is way too long. Now today, I'm using the new mini mat. Should be out very soon. Um, this mat basically allows me to see where my rope is hitting the floor. If it's hitting out in front, I know it's too long. Similarly, if it's kind of tripping up high on my feet, I know it's too short. So you've got to start tinkering with your rope length. Now you can start using knots, the speed rope, the money rope, knots is the way forward in my opinion. Or if you're really sure, cut it down. But you want to start tinkering with the knots so that you can start to understand what's your favorite rope length, all right, to get these done. Now we're gonna to start to get a little bit more technical, right? Gonna get camera B a little bit closer here. We're gonna to start to think about where we grip this rope now. Like a lot of people, the conventional grip is up here, okay? That's fine, but I'm gonna to start to get you to sort of grip it further down the handle now. And what that's gonna allow us to do, peeps, is when we cross now, we're gonna get a little bit more width with the rope. You don't have to cross so much. And this is gonna give us, by holding it here, you actually, when you start to whip it, you get a little bit more of a better action with your wrist. If you're kind of high up, you kind of have to force the rope around a little bit more. Here, you can kind of sling shot it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna to start to play a little bit more slow motion now as I talk to you here. But when I'm doing these crossovers at speed peeps, right, it's, it's, an, it's an action that you gotta get used to, like slingshot in your hands, forward away from you and then across your body. You don't wanna be kind of awkward using arms. It's this slingshot action, which is gonna allow you to get it super quick. Now, hopefully you're watching these slow motions of my arms kind of really coming across my body, whip, whip. Once you get this whip action, that's what's gonna get you the speed, all right? Don't get confused thinking that it's arms. It's all kind of arms here and coming away from your body. It's all about the wrist action, getting those wrists turning over, but more importantly, making sure that grip feels nice and that you can get that quick whip action. That is point number two, point number three, can't remember. Last bonus point to remember here, peeps, is your timing on how you step down with these, these rapid crossovers. Remember, you don't need to use this like trainer, non-trainer thing. This is my own personal preference. Do whatever feels comfortable. If you can do it with trainers quick, that's good. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to step down as each revolution just passes beneath our feet, right? You need to make sure that you can hold this foot up long enough, right, at the right time to drop it as you uncross, right? So just watch it again. I'm gonna do it in slow motion. So it's here, drop, 
drop, drop. This is really key, right? Because you want to make sure that your feet, you want to make sure your feet are moving at a steady, obviously a quick speed, but you want to make sure your hands are moving again, crossing at the right time as well. Cross, uncross. These are the quick points which are going to allow you to basically get this done at speed. Like it's, it's something that feels comfortable for me. It's why I share it with you. Some of these drills, some of these points may not work for you. Of course, I understand that. Everyone has different techniques. Um, but when you're using something like a speed rope, when you can tinker the, the rope length, when you can get your feet looking light, feeling light, staying on the balls of your feet, all these kind of first beginner foundation parts of this move, you'll make sure that these little extra little tips I can give you, the handle grip, um, the way you sort of fling or kind of get that whip, these are really key things that not a lot of people will know or utilize, right? So this is a very quick tutorial. Remember, I would love you all. If you really enjoyed this video anyway, give a big thumbs up, really useful for me. And to also hit that subscribe button and join this incredible fitness community that we have across the world. So guys, without further ado, I'll see you in that next video. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.